Right. What I wanted to do firstly is just outline some very, very basic principles about the divine path as to what's involved on progressing in this way of the soul or sometimes you might call it the way of the heart. And, and so what I would like to do is just outline some very basic principles. There's actually only three things that you're going to need to do on this path. So a child can understand these things. And that's the beauty of this path is that because a child can understand them, it means that any single one of God's children can become a one with God as long as they do the work involved in becoming at one with God, in, in, in doing these three things, these just three things. So let's write down the three things first. What do you think they might be? Experience your emotions. All right, I'll put that down as number three. Number one and number two. Have a passion for God. Have a passion for God. And let's call, let's call this pray for God's love. Who hates the word pray? Okay, no worries. You're allowed to admit anything here, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to define the word pray for you in a minute, and you'll see that it's not anything to do with religion generally. All right, second thing. Now, the second thing is really important because, and we'll talk more about it in, in a lot more detail later, but it's really important because you often hear <coughs> terminology nowadays of what's my truth or your truth. I have to stay in my truth or your truth. And the truth is that you will not be able to become at one with God unless you learn God's truth. All right? And that is going to be very, very different from your truth. And that's part of the process that you'll be going through, is actually learning the difference between your truth and God's truth. All right. Now that's pretty confronting, mm -hmm. isn't it? To actually believe that there's some way that you can actually get to know God's truth. There must be a way. Um, and, it, and that way is going to be very, very important for you in your progression. If you refuse to accept God's truth... <coughs> you will not ever become at one with God. <coughs> now we'll talk more about that in a minute. The third thing. Humility. What's the definition of humility? Any ideas? To stand under. To stand under? That's being humbled. Is that... Is that what God wants us to do? To feel for others. To feel for others? That would be more like empathy? Yeah, I suppose. we don't know everything? Uh, yeah, well, obviously we don't know everything. That's, that's pretty easy. To know the difference? Can I define it as this? Being willing to feel every emotion that is inside of yourself. And in fact, not just being willing to feel every emotion inside of yourself, but actually wanting to feel every emotion inside of yourself. Can you see why that might be humility? Mm -hmm. There's a few shakes of the head. You can play to do that. Very you have to be able to overcome vulnerability. What causes you to be proud or what causes you to hang on to your ego? Isn't it the fact that you don't want to feel some emotion inside of yourself in the end? So the only way you're going to be able to let go of this thing called ego or let go of pride is to actually feel and be willing to feel everything inside of yourself. That make sense? Yeah. So that's the definition of humility I'd like you to take away from yourself. Be willing to face, and not just willing, have a strong desire to face and feel every single emotion inside of yourself. 